Gustav from PSKiss and welcome to this tutorial of Pixel Gear 2.0, our new retouch product. In this tutorial, I'll take you from here to here in as little steps as possible. It's going to be quite simple and very interesting. So let's start with a fresh new photograph. First, go to Window, Extension, and choose PSKiss Pixel Gear. This will open the Pixel Gear panel, which contains three filters, Skin Gear, Tone Gear, and Edge Gear. We will start with Skin Gear, which is designed for skin smoothing and smoothing in general. First, let's pick up the skin tone. Click the color range button. In the color range dialog box, select skin tones, select the fuzziness, and click OK. This creates a selection. Now click the Create Mask button. This will create a new layer called Skin Gear with a mask. Please don't change this name. You'll need it for further editing. Now choose the preset you want to apply to this picture. Click the Presets button. It slides to the right and the Skin Gear Presets panel is revealed. You have three pre-designed presets, Editorial, Beauty, and China Doll. These are two I added while working. For this picture, we'll start with the Beauty preset. You click Beauty, the filter runs, and it is done. All sliders are in place as saved in the preset. The basic idea of Skin Gear is to set the four first sliders from the most to the least. This is the highest value, this is the lowest value. These two are in charge of large details. These two are in charge of small details and this is the overall intensity of the filter. Now in this particular image we have some small details that I want to get rid of so I'll increase the remove skin defects quite much. This removed almost all the skin defects on her face. The ones that remain will be removed by standard Photoshop tools. Now as you can see we have a new layer, let's see before and after. The automatic mask is not as good as I would like it to be. So I select the mask, I choose the brush tool, Make sure that black and white are set here and set the size of the brush I want. Now I'm going to paint with black. That means I'm going to remove parts of the image from the filter. They will not be affected by the filter. I'm using the X key to switch to white because I don't want this to be sharp. There you go. Now I want to remove these harsh areas. Press the X button, X key, back to black. Paint around her lips. X back to white. This dark area will be included in the area of the filter. Now to make sure I did a good job, I'm going to hold down the Alt button or the Option on the Macintosh, click on the layer mask thumbnail and refine the mask. I'm painting with blacks on areas I want to exclude and I'm going to paint with white on areas I want to include, which are obviously all the skin areas. Now this may take a couple of minutes, not too long, and now back to black, exclude all the hair and her shirt. 
that's it. Wasn't too hard. Alt click the layer mask thumbnail and we're back in business. Now back to the layer thumbnail. I'll take the healing brush tool. I'm going to remove some defects that were not removed by the filter. Not too many of them. Now please notice that the name again is very very important because you can always go back and edit this layer and edit the filter again and again as many times as you wish. Now let's say you're satisfied with this preset and you want to save it. Again, click the preset button, type in the name of the preset you want it to be, and click the plus button. Now it is saved. You can always go back to any preset you want. Let's click on the beauty, it will bring back the beauty preset. Click on the one we just saved, it will activate the one that we saved. Any manual corrections you did, you're going to have to redo them after running the preset. Once you're done, we're ready to continue to the next one, Tone Gear. Tone Gear is a sophisticated shadow and highlight tool that allows you to control the shadows and the highlights of your image in a very, very interesting way. This slider is in charge of shadow contrast. Please notice this is shadow contrast, not brightness. So if you increase the contrast of the shadows, you get a deeper image. Now note that this also created a tone gear layer automatically. The highlights contrast is in charge of highlight contrast. And the range, Let's see what we got. Nice. The global balance balances between shadows and highlights. That means more influence on both ends of the scale. The global contrast will decrease or increase contrast of the image. The intensity is the overall intensity of the filter, low or high. Once you're satisfied, you can save your settings as a preset. Let's call this one more drama two. Click the plus, there you go. These are previous presets I've saved. You can see the different aspects. The third part of Pixel Gear is called Edge Gear, which is a highly sophisticated sharpness tool. It works on color edges of the image. You have predefined presets, low, medium, or high, or you can or you can save your own presets whenever you want. Let's use the medium preset and see how edge gear works. Now the first thing you notice is there is a new layer called edge gear and it has a mask. This mask is the inverted mask of skin gear. Let's see, this is skin gear mask, this is edge gear mask. Because you want to sharpen the areas that were not smoothed. Well, let's increase the intensity And see that all the areas that were not smoothed were sharpened. If you use these values in the opposite way, meaning low intensity and high radius, you'll get edge enhancement instead of sharpness. Let's see again. This is edge enhancement and this is sharpness. Use it 
however you want. Now if you want to fine tune the mask on this layer, just click on the mask, thumbnail, zoom into the areas you want to correct, use black to exclude and white to include. Just take the brush tool, smaller brush, let's exclude these areas. So they won't be over sharpened. As you can see very well, the image is retouched, but skin texture is not destroyed. You still get a very realistic skin texture, very fast and very easy. Well, I hope you'll enjoy using Pixel Gear as much as I do. Thank you very much. Bye bye.